Hey guys, I'm back for another Minecraft video, and this is Minecraft Survival Island Huge Update, Episode 6. That was a mouthful. Anyway, I know it's been a long time since the last one of these, so I bet you guys are pretty excited to see this one. So, <clears throat> without further ado, I'm going to show you some of the awesome changes, well, not some, all of the awesome changes on this island. So, first off, I really love this with the uh, wood, so I extended it over to this new platform over here and over here with the cactus farm and also what I did is I made a little drop to bedrock over here well not too bad I'm not done with it I mean as I said I do all this in survival I just change it to creative to show you guys everything but <clears throat> for now it's pretty far down actually um you guys are probably asking why I make something like that well I just like to copy things from my old map like back then, I did things without purpose. But they're still kind of cool. So, I'm copying my old self by doing that. Anyway, so there's that. And you're probably wondering, what happened to the button switch? Because that's where it was. And now it's gone. Well, it is. But, luckily, with 1.5 coming out pretty soon, there's going to be light detectors. So, I don't need a bud switch. I don't even, I don't need to work off of a glitch anymore. I can get something official. And hopefully the sunlight will make it down here, and it'll just connect to that redstone, and then activate the central lighting, so when it turns night, all these lights will turn off. Or, I can just set it manually, if I go like, yeah, turn off auto lighting, turn on lights, so I can do that if I wanted to. But I want it to be on auto light, so I'll just keep it like that. But, I can't use it until I get 1.5. So, anyway, I put a tree there, I'm not sure if you guys saw that before, but I'm... I'm trying to get decorative with the map and I put some of that there I'm not sure if you saw that uh let's see what we got um hmm. some healing stations and... oh yeah one thing that's quite obvious actually is oh yeah there's stairs there by the way to make it look nicer but <clears throat> you guys are probably noticing right now the lack of torches I tried lighting most of the island with glowstone as you can see, and I, I'm kind of out of glowstone. Oh yeah, I don't need this. Make a little window here. I can break stuff because I'm in creative, so I'm technically doing a bad thing for myself by getting rid of resources, but I don't care. But yeah, I tried making it so there's less torches because they're kind of old as far as the style goes. Oh yeah, I also added this little platform over here for another farm maybe or something like that. But yeah, this, I got rid of all the torches or at least most of them. So now it's all glowstone lit, which looks a lot nicer because then you don't see the little particles. And in a way, for those of you that have bad computers, it would actually make it run better because there's less particle effects going on. Anyway, so over here, I said in the last video I was going to put something on top of here, and I did. I got some villagers, which were not easy to go over here. I had to minecart them over from the Sky Hotel, which is over there. So I had like a giant sky thing that would go that way. So that's that. I added a bench here, a tree with a torch on it, so I have to put a torch there. And a music player, and this nice little uh, table thing I made. So that's that. Some more aesthetic stuff for decoration. And the iron golems still like this area for some reason. Uh, let's see. Why is this mushroom house still here? There's no point in it, but... Eh. Eh, it's cool. <laughs> no point in it being there, but... Oh, let me out. Alright, anyway, that's that. Now, I'm not sure if I did this before with the item frames, but... If you guys didn't notice it before, or if I just didn't show you before... There is a custom emblem that I made for myself. I'm not sure if I showed that off, but if I didn't, there it is. I made it off in the distance, and actually the way to get there is from the jail. There's a little minecart that goes out in the middle of the ocean. Oh yeah, and I also have a mailbox, if I didn't show you that before. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, and I've got some flower pots. I think I already got that in the last episode of this. Let's see, what else is new? Oh yes. I have a refrigerator now, and this idea I got from Nerd Cubed, so you can go check out his channel. Actually, you probably know about his channel if you know about mine, 
because I've been liking a lot of his videos, so stuff like that. So what you do is it just goes like this, and it shoots out a piece of food. And as you can see, I have a stack of each in there. And then there's stuff there, the extra food in there. But all of that is old news. So anyway, I'll show you some of the other new stuff. I think I already showed this, dyes and wall. I need to fill this with more of the exotic colors, like cyan and all that. But I'll do that in the next episode. Well, not in the next episode, but I'll do it before then. And I updated the entertainment center, put some, I put a little shelf here, like a little two inch thick shelf. And I added a little secret. If you guys don't see it, then that's too bad. But if you do see it, comment down below, because I'd be interested to see <laughs> your comments on that. Well, anyway, so I think I already showed you all this. <clears throat> this is my to-do list, and I've updated it quite a bit. So there's a, I put some abbreviations in here so I can fit it on the sign, so it might be a little weird. But FM means farm and stuff like that. I just made it so I can understand it. Because there's a lot of stuff here and I wanted to fit it all in this little spot and not have extra signs going off. So that's all the, uh, that's a to-do list that I hopefully will achieve in the next episode. Oh, it's turning night. Um, anyway, um, hmm, what else is there? Oh yes, something that's been around forever and I haven't showed it to you guys yet is, if you look in the pool, there's a little engraving. It says TV1, 30 virus 1, my username, awesome. So, <laughs> there's that. Oh yes, there's one last thing in the house I didn't show you yet. Oh yeah, this too, I also lowered the pyramid down one level since this uh, floor slash ceiling over here is two blocks thick. So I took advantage of that and made it stick out less. There's that, but <clears throat> there's something else I wanted to show you down inside. I added a button there as well. Oops, let me in. Make it easier. And there's another one of those signs. And actually, there is one more thing. that I, There's something upstairs to do all right so if you look over here i also have a map of the island which looks pretty awesome and <laughs> it even has the dogs on oh wait no what is that is that me can't be me oh, wait no i don't know well anyway so it shows everything on the island well everything on the center of the what is that i don't remember making anything circular shaped Strange. Well, anyway, that's cool. And there's also another sign outside. I'll show you that later. Uh, but first, I want to show you a new room in my house. So let's go down to the lower basement. And the picture room. This was one of the one of those things I copied from my old map. So, yes, lots of pictures. And this is actually a lot better than the original one. <laughs> yeah, this is... uh. I'm going to put something hidden in here eventually because, you know, the classic walk through the painting. I haven't done that yet, but still, really cool. Got a lot of stuff. So anyway, <clears throat> let's get out of here. I also put a chest there. And there's some more of my emblem. I put them all over this house because I love to express my YouTube stuff. Alright, and I put pictures in here. I don't think there's anything new in the library, so let's get out of there. Um, Enchantment item storage. Yes, that. <clears throat> I put that there too, and you can enchant books now. So here, let me do an example. Just use up one of my books. You go like this. Well, bam! Knock back two. Useless to me. So you know what? Goodbye. Waste of a book. But I just explained something. So haha. -ha. <laughs> so yes, you can enchant books. I have some extra diamond tools in there. After building so many things underground, I can obviously make all this. And then, I don't think there's anything new in this special. Oh, yes. I also changed the format of this for something. I think there was something hidden that I had somewhere around here. And I changed the format of it, so I had to kind of scrunch this in. But that's okay. I only need two chests anyway. So, there's that. And there's also some new places to go in the railway. <clears throat> I think I updated it a little bit as well as far as features go. So you guys probably thought, how can you get any better with this railway system? I mean, seriously. All you do is press a button and go. How much easier can you get? Well, I added a little feature back here that you can now get into this room. And I added this. If this torch is on, the system needs a minecart. And it's off, which means that the system is full. So there's about like eight minecarts in there. So anyway... 
Uh, what else is there? Oh, yes. All of these buttons work now, but I'm not going to bother demonstrating it, so sorry, guys. But this one leads to the mainland, and it's a real lay, or lay, a real mainland that's the actual, not an island, it's actual mainland. So I found that. And this goes to the spot, or the building site of the animal breeding station. Actually, I have a new version of that, too, so I'm going to make a video about that soon. I literally compacted it to the point where it's impossible to get any smaller than that. So then, yeah, it's actually buildable for the average person. So anyway, this goes to Spider Trap, Huge Sky Trap, Zombie Trap, End Portal, Sky Hotel, Iron Golem Farm, Slime Farm, and Skeleton Farm. And I don't know whether I showed you some of the new traps, because I did post videos about them, but I don't think I ever said it in Huge Update. <clears throat> so I might as well go and do that now. So obviously the Sky Trap, I think I already showed that off. So what else did I do? I put jack-o'-lanterns everywhere for Halloween. Um, of course, Christmas just passed, and that little grassy area over there that I made, if you can see it, it's right there. I put that there originally to have a Christmas tree, but that requires like snow layers, which are not accessible at this point, so I couldn't do that. But that's okay. So here's the other map I was talking about for the island. This one shows off this area. And some of that insanely large Enderman spawner that never worked. So there's that. <clears throat> and this uh, sand making machine is now useless. And I know that for a fact. Because they're getting rid of that glitch in 1.5. But I think it might still work. See that. Nope, doesn't work anymore. Yeah, if you go to the most... If you go to the other Survival Island huge update videos, then you'll see that fully functioning. So, I'm not sure if I showed this off, but I'm going to show it off anyway. The vending machine, I made some upgrades to it. Um, I'm not sure if I posted a video about it at all, actually. Well, let's do it now. So, if I want fish, click fish. Wait a few seconds, and then a storage minecart drops down. And then, boom, fish. And then I just press the button, sends it back. And that took a lot of fishing. That <laughs> I actually got my brother <laughs> to do that. Like, while I was doing my own thing, he would just sit there and right-click, take fish, right-click, take fish. I did some of it, though. Anyway, so there's that. There's pork chops, steak, chicken, fish, soup, mushroom soup, um, I meant <laughs> bread, apples. This actually has all three of the apples, like the <clears throat> cheap golden one and the expensive golden one. The cookies, which is desserts, like cookies, cake, and pumpkin pie. And then carrots, which are vegetables, like the carrot potatoes and poisonous potatoes cooked potatoes golden carrot all that and i upgraded uh pablo's house i have some glowstone there and i did not want to get on pablo i'm sorry and i also put a door there so it doesn't get struck by lightning again yeah that was uh, a little rough for him anyway um i think that's it i've got just about everything covered i think yeah I do not think there's anything else. Oh, yeah, actually, I made this area accessible over here, health station, and then you go over here, fishing spot. I never saw this. This is like a perfect spot for fishing, and this is actually where some of the fish from the, uh, like, I restocked some of the fish because I decided while building I'd start eating fish instead of pork chops for whatever reason, so I kind of ran low on it, so I fished over there. So, what else is there? There's got to be something new. Hmm, there's also an Easter egg on top of there. But I'm not going to show you that because you can just download the map. Which I will provide in the description of this video. Forgot to mention that. That's kind of important. <laughs> so, anyway, what else is there? Oh, yes, castle in progress. I'll make a castle too. I haven't done that yet. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I got rid of the... <clears throat> I put nether stuff around here now, so it looks better. I think I already showed that off, though. Yep, that's just about it. I, uh, that's all the upgrades to the island. So, leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video, and just in general, because this map, this map is like, how much better can you get? How much more items can you just get by pressing a button? I mean, not one individual button, but... That actually is an interesting idea. Hmm. Comment down below if you want me to make some mega machine that does everything. Like I press a button, it drops down like 
everything. Like, everything I can possibly scrounge up. But, the, of course, there's going to be some sort of a replant. But still, it's not a bad idea. That might be something to go over there. I don't know. Well, anyway. <laughs> so, I'm also getting paid by DGN, which is awesome. But I can't... I, I don't think I'm allowed to say how much per views or whatever. But... That's pretty interesting, because I think if I said it, that would cancel out the partnership. <laughs> so I don't want to do that. But anyway, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.